Did you know that Reviews AI can monitor and respond to reviews automatically? Well, this is one of the best features that High Level offers in terms of reputation management. And if you've got a business that is scaling rapidly and getting a lot of reviews on Google or Facebook or all the other listings, then you can actually enable this option to engage and respond to the reviews in a timely manner. And you know that even on Google listings, this is a key metric where Google checks if a business is getting back to the customer reviews in a timely manner. And you can easily do that if you use Reviews AI and make sure that you rank higher on Google. So let's dive into my screen right here and I'll show you how to set this up. All right, so I'm in my GoHello sub account and we're gonna head over to Reputation right here and then click on Settings at the top. Once you do that, you'll find the Reviews AI option right here. But before I jump into that, you need to make sure that you have at least one listing connected with your high level sub account. So that way we can activate the reviews AI feature. So for that, you can head over to integrations and you can see that it does support a lot of integrations right here. But for this video, I have connected the Google business profile, which is usually the most popular option. And you can find out if your Google listing is connected or not by heading over to settings right here. And in just a moment, you can see that my Google listing is connected here. So we can head back to reputation here. And then under settings, I'm going to dive into the reviews AI feature. So the first thing you will notice is that we have three options. Now, by default, the reviews AI will be inactive. But of course, if you turn this on, we have two options. So the first one is the suggestive mode where it will help you to come up with a response. But you have to post it. You can, of course, tweak it if you want before publishing it. But in the auto response mode, it will just reply to the reviews right away. So before we decide this setting, we are going to talk about how do we set up a review AI agent to make sure that it caters the reviews and responds automatically. So here you can see we have reviews AI agents. Now you can go ahead and click on create new agent. We do have a legacy review AI option if you want to set that up. But what I would recommend to you is to make sure you select the create starter agents because what this will do is it will create five different review AI agents. And I'll get to that in a minute. Why do we need five different ones? So let's go ahead and click on proceed here. And in a moment, you will notice that it has set up five different options for us. We can delete this default one if you want. And now we're just left with the five, which are the starter agents. So this is basically some templates by high level. And what you will notice is that these are varying based on the review type we get. So for example, if you get a two star rating or below, then this agent will come into play. And if you have four stars or above, then this agent will respond. Of course, you can give it names to give more personality. And then we have this one for all reviews. Now, this is contradicting with the other ones. So make sure that you change the setting for this or we can just get rid of this one and then just have one for each type, like one stars, two stars, three, four and five. Right. So based on that, you can easily set this up. You can create new agents from here. You can pick a personality from here. That is all up to you. But I'll show you the settings for one of those. And of course, you can just replicate the same thing all across the board. So, for example, let's talk about Solution Sally, which should activate based on two stars or below. And if I go here and click on edit here, we'll start from the top. So we first have the name and then we have the agent instructions. You can see that it is already pre-built. So it saves you from a lot of the heavy lifting. So you don't have to type this from scratch. You can just go ahead and tweak this. Now, because we have different AI agents for responding to different types of reviews, and that is why we also have different agent instructions because it is a good approach to handle each type of review differently because we don't want a very simple and straightforward or generic AI agent that just responds to reviews automatically based on just its internal context. We want to make sure that we are setting these instructions up based on the type of review you are getting. So make sure you tweak these instructions. You are able to fully customize this. And then you can also select the tone of the agent. Do you want it to be solution oriented? Do you also want it to be concise? So you can select a maximum of two tones, but this will also give some more context to the bot because you know, especially where you're dealing with two stars or ratings below that, you want to make sure that you are professional, you're solution oriented. You're not using a funny or a playful tone. So you want to make sure that you're fully dialed in into this process. So once you select the tone of the agent, then you can select the language. So by default, it is dynamic 
dynamic, which means that if a customer is responding in a different language, then it will automatically detect and respond in the supported language. But if you want to set a static or a fixed one, you can choose it from the list down here. Then we have to select the review source. So if you select all and if you have multiple Google listings connected inside of this Go High Level sub account, then it will work all across them, right? But if you are just setting it up for a specific business, then you can choose this option instead. As you can see, this is the Google listing that I have added. So I can just select this one and then get rid of the all option just to make sure that this review AI agent just works on this Google listing. Then next up, we have the review type. So here you can map when should this review AI agent work. You can see we have it set to two stars or below. So that is fine. You can choose anything of your liking. And then lastly, we have the footer. So if you want to put in some signature or say your company name or your website, you can also say that here. And lastly, we have AI agent response preview. So based on the instructions, if you want to see how would this respond, you can click on generate and it will give you an idea of how this would respond. And then based on that, you can make a few tweaks to the agent instructions, maybe change the tone. So that way you can go back here, regenerate it. And then once you're happy with the settings, you can just go ahead and click on save. And that is essentially it. You can now see the review source, the review type, and the tones here as well. All the settings are reflected. Now you can create more agents. You can also clone this or disable or delete this. So that is all up to you. And once you have dialed this in, we can then go ahead and then turn this on. So if you put this in the auto respond mode, you can choose a wait time before responding to the review because we don't want to make it sound like a bot. So at least put a wait time of two minutes, maybe 10 minutes is a better idea. So you can decide that setting here. And after that time, it will automatically respond to that review. And if you have the suggestive mode, then it will not respond to the review itself. It will wait for you to review it. So it will actually populate under the reviews. I don't have any reviews on this listing because this is a brand new one, but you will see all the reviews here and you will see a generate button just like we did when we were creating the agent and it will give you a response which you can tweak or just copy and paste to that review right away. So that way you are fully in charge of that process. All right, so that was all about this video. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them right below. This is Osama signing off. I'll see you in the next one.